Uh, if they would be doing CS or UIT, they would have an, a basic outline of what CS as such is. For those who don't know what CS course is all about, uh, company secretary is the person who will be taking care of the complaints aspect of a company. So, uh, a company secretary is equivalent to a key managerial uh, person, which is you will be considered equivalent to a uh, CEO, chief executive officer or CFO, and you will be reporting directly to uh, MDs, old time director, giving them legal advices uh, and uh, representing the company before various uh, stock exchanges and, uh, and NCLPs, what else. So, uh, so, as a company secretary, you have to take care of the complaints of, of the, uh, which the companies need to take care of. So, uh, so what are the laws we will be, the subjects we will be dealing with CSS naturally, company law. So now, constitution is the heart and soul of a lawyer. Company law will be the heart and soul of a company secretary. So the other laws we will be studying in CS courses, uh, contracts act, uh, SEBI regulations, labor legislations, uh, tax laws, we will be studying other laws also in CS course, but these five laws will be the major portion which we will be dealing on a day to day basis. So I think now you will have a uh, basic idea of uh, what we will be studying in CS course or what the CS will be handling. So uh, now I will uh, move on to the uh, outline of the course curriculum. Uh, so uh, first, so there's three steps in this course. First step is foundation or CS EET program. Next step is executive and the third level is professional level. So when uh, you uh, complete directly uh, from 12th, you can enroll for uh, the CSEET course. So when I was a student, uh, when I was studying, I think uh, uh, 10th or plus one, I, I decided to pursue my uh, career as a CS. And, and we had an option, I think still we have that option. Just with my um, 12th hall ticket, that is even before giving my uh, plus two exams, just with my hall ticket, uh, I enrolled for CS and I gave my CSET uh, foundation program in my first uh, semester of uh, SOIL and then uh, I cleared it in my first semester with All India Rank. So, uh, so this CS foundation program is very easy for you to crack when compared to other uh, executive program or uh, professional program. The very reason being, so there's uh, four subjects in this uh, First level, uh, everything is MCQ based for 200 marks, two subjects for 50 marks each, uh, third subject is for 70 marks, and uh, fourth is current affairs is for 30 marks. So majorly, the questions which will be asked is from your English grammar, uh, your economics. So, being, I think being a BCom student, you would have chosen uh, a commerce group in your 11th and 12th, right? So you would have already studied uh, basic micro and macroeconomics, uh, corporate accounting, and again in BCom also you will be studying uh, these subjects in the first or uh, first year itself. So this foundation, the basic uh, knowledge which you have acquired from your 11th and 12th, you will be able to uh, crack foundation program uh, very easily. So uh, so this foundation program I didn't to any classes separately as such. I just got my study material from the institute, I study and then I crack the exam. So the next next program is, I mean, next step of this curriculum is executive program. So this executive program, uh, it has seven papers. So in that seven papers, the first paper is uh, jurisprudence and general laws. So in this paper, it, 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 it is a culmination of all the general laws which you study in your uh, college, say uh, jurisprudence, interpretation of statutes, CPC, CRPC, evidence, uh, sale of goods act, negotiable instruments act. So uh, in, in college, you will be studying each of this uh, in subject as a se for a separate semester, whereas in CS, uh, you will be having this as a chapter. So when you, uh, you study these subjects as a separate semester, you will ha be having an in-depth knowledge on each of the subjects. So you will be able to grab this particular, this jurisprudence and general laws paper very easily. Next paper is uh, uh, company law paper. Again, in, uh, we study company law as a separate, uh, for a separate semester, but here, since company law is the heart and soul of the 
uh, CS course as such. Uh, we will have an in-depth uh, uh, description in uh, CS course. In, in our college, we'll be studying more of case laws. So this uh, college company laws will be is designed in uh, such a way so as to equip yourself to appear before courts representing your companies. Whereas in uh, CS course, the uh, company law is structured for you to manage the company, to represent me, to handle the board meetings, general meetings. So that is the main difference in this company law paper. But here, here, here again, uh, since you are studying company law as a great semester in your college, you'll be able to uh, get, have better understanding in CS uh, company law paper as well. Next comes. Uh, economic and commercial laws paper. Here we will be having a competition law, IP laws, which we are, you will be uh, studying in college uh, as a separate uh, subject. Apart from that, that, this competition and IP laws, there is uh, I mean, some other uh, commercial law papers. I think you will not, you will not have studied that. Will be new to you in CS. Uh, next papers are tax laws, uh, industrial labor and general laws, setting up of business entities. So. Uh, as a whole, uh, 50, 50 to 60 percent of the subjects which are in the executive program, you will study in your college. So, uh, so this the basic understanding of these 50 to 60 percent from your college and extra efforts from your side. Say we have tax paper, uh, corporate accounts, and uh, auditing paper. So these two papers alone, I would suggest you to. Uh, go to a separate class. Either uh, we have uh, ICSA takes classes and we have other private institutes as well. So you can put, if you need, you can go to classes for all of the seven subjects. But if you are thorough from your college knowledge, you can uh, manage the other law papers yourself and go to uh, classes for this uh, tax laws and corporate accounting uh, paper alone. So uh, I actually went for. Uh, Class, the classes for all these uh, seven subjects um, and uh, we have an option to write uh, both the groups together or we can choose to give uh, each subject uh, I mean separately but since uh, so since I got a rank in all India foundation uh, program uh, I wanted to get a rank in executive aspect so only if we give uh, uh, both the groups together we we have the chance to get all India rank. So with the uh, idea of getting all India rank, I did an uh, executive program, but it was so tough for me to uh, manage both the groups together. See, um, um, I have for executive, I have classes at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning in, uh, at Nugam Bakam. So I had to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, go to uh, Nugam Bakam. We have classes from 6 to 8.30. At 8.30, I catch an auto go to uh, Mandavini in my auto, I'll be uh, having my breakfast and then sharply at 9.30 I'll reach my college and I go rush to my home at 2 o'clock and start studying for my uh, CS exam. So this this happened for a one year period when I did my, uh, when I was in my second and uh, third year. I'm in the person in the pin in the pun thing is gone on there. I'll tell you college, you can go to the college, you can go to the college. So the main takeaway here is it's not necessary for you to uh, do uh, uh, both the groups together. Since you are doing your college as well, you will be having assignments, internals and all. You can put them in the over group of the head. You can split the burden. That's what I'm saying. So uh, next comes the uh, professional program. So this foundation is easy for you to crack. No syllable, huh? So this foundation program is uh, easy for you to crack. Uh, executive program you can manage with your college level syllabus, but this uh, professional program will be tough for you. Here comes the real challenge for everyone who is doing uh, CS. See, uh, um, uh, 80 to 90 percent of the students will be able to play a foundation easily. This gets reduced in the executive program. Only, uh, 30-40% uh, of the students who do executive program, they clear in the first attempt or they take two or three attempts. When I did executive, uh, so I was in BCom C section, there was another friend from A section, we, we went for classes together, both of us were aiming for All India rank. I cleared executive, I, I didn't get uh, All India rank, I visited by uh, one 
mark in the executive program, but yeah, I cleared the program. But my friend who, who studied along with me, she was not able to clear one paper in the executive program. So she had to wait for uh, another six months and she gave her uh, uh, executive and cleared in that part. And again, uh, she's still writing her professional program. I cleared my executive and then cleared my uh, final and I became a company secretary in the year 2020. She, the, my friend who studied with me in the executive program, she still, uh, she still has one paper in professional program. She's yet to clear that. And uh, one more student from my radio room class, from my same section, uh, it, it took two to three attempts for him to clear executive, three to four attempts for him to clear professional uh, exam. So, as a senior to a junior, I don't want to uh, paint a very uh, overhype or uh, parallel kind of a picture. Because I, this, you, you should first understand that this course as such is difficult to clear. You will have to put a lot of efforts into it. See, uh, the, uh, let's take the example of uh, judges exam or uh, UPSC exams. We all know that it's not easy for us to uh, clear judges exam or uh, UPSC exams. What's the reason behind that? So as a judge or as, a, as an IAS officer, you have that, that position is a respectable position and it is a responsible position. So you uh, you will have to put a lot of efforts into it. In the same way, company secretary is a key managerial person. When, when a person is supposed to report directly to a managing director or advice, uh, give advice to a managing director, you will have to have a, a thorough in depth knowledge uh, of that uh, subject. So naturally, it will take a lot of efforts or uh, some attempts for you to clear CS. But at the end of the day, it will all pay off. So when, uh, when compared to a uh, uh, normal lawyer or a company secretary, the person who is having a combination as a law and a company secretary get graduate will have a better placing and they will get a better, uh, the salary difference will be two, two times or three times than just a lawyer or just a uh, company secretary. See, uh, you can, with regard to uh, career opportunities, uh, one, you can be employed as a company secretary in a company. Those companies which has a paid up capital of 10 crore or more, they will have to have a full-time company secretary. So you can be appointed in the, as a company secretary in these companies and you can take care of the legal side of the work as well. So uh, just a lawyer will be able to head the legal department alone or just a company secretary can take care of the secretary aspects alone. So when you do this law and company secretary course together, you can take care of both the departments all together. So naturally, companies will prefer those who do these two courses together. And the salary also will be up in time or triple time times better than the normal company. And uh, next is you can practice as a company secretary. I am I'm now currently practicing as a company secretary. So what we will be doing is, uh, we'll be going on secretary audits. You know, uh, chartered accountants they do statutory audit. That is, they they do audit on the accounts of the company. Similarly, a practicing company secretary, we will do secretary audit. That is, we'll check uh, whether all the laws that the companies has to comply has been complied with. So th this is one aspect. And also for those companies which have less than 10 crore paid up capital. We will, we will take them on a retainer basis. That is, we will uh, take care of the compliance aspects of these kind of companies. So, this is like a very, very basic work of what a, a practicing company secretary does. Third option is you can uh, join as a junior in corporate law firms. So, uh, in corporate, big corporate law firms as well, they prefer uh, people who are doing CS because uh, corporate, uh, in CS, all your main papers revolves around uh, corporate laws. So you will be able to argue better in, when you appear in NCLT or in NCLAT, mergers, acquisitions, or tax law matters. For, for this reason, corporate law firms, they will uh, take you in when you do CS course, and the pay will also to be two times or three times better than just a uh, normal law student. So uh, I think uh, I mean, uh, regarding uh, other uh, aspects, uh, uh, Chitra Madam and, and my father, he's my father, he's also a uh, company secretary and uh, he's also in uh, uh, PALLB. Uh, and, uh, we, currently we are uh, practicing together. I think both of them will be in a better position to give you uh, a, a professional aspect kind of view. 
So um, I will conclude my speech here. Uh, so this, when I am concluding, uh, I don't want to, I don't want it to be a, a, a CS career awareness program. I want to, from my heart, to as a senior to juniors, apne verum ne or law student aave irundittu college mudichu pogadiya as law student thavithu vera edacho additional ah pannunga see uh, juniors ah seyrenga edacho neenga ipo ipove or first or first year second year third year padikum bodhe final year mudichu nama pogumbodhu enna panna porom corporate law po poroma illa civil side practice panna poroma criminal side practice panna poroma enak edhu interest edhu nalla irukum nu kaandu ipo neenga padikum bodhe unga teachers kitta discuss panna unga friends kitta discuss panna edho ungalku set aagum nu paarenga paathu ipo thile irundha adukaga enna pannanum nu efforts undu podaadinga so this is like ipo vandu romba bayangara competitive world ah irukku ellarum unga edacho add on pannite irukanga mood codes ponga moods ponga articles edunga essays edunga neenga vandu win panna naalume verumbe avanga vandu book miss pesadhe paathukalla or book e paathukalla adhu or book is book ku maadhiri da irukke idhe neenga vandu win panna naalum first time mood code class inga patta alo okay question ku badhal solla theriyala naalume nariya vaatti poninga na adhu mood code prepare pandradhukaga vandu in depth vandu neenga vandu ulla 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 poi padichite irupinga unga knowledge vandu innum in depth ah valarum vera edha vera edha poi neenga vandu pesa